Alright, so we're going to use forces to push a ball around. So there's a uh, ground to start off with. And then I like to use cube spheres rather than uh, icosphere. So you just do subdivide and then alt shift s to sphere. So there we go. Now this is all quads, there's no triangles in it, which is nice. So there's our sphere. Now I'm going to add an empty. I'm going to resize it a little bit, make it size 2. And then, if we vertex parent this, now I have a vertex right in the center. So now this is parented to that. Now, key press W. We're going to name this keyboard sensor W. Templates, Python, game logic, simple. change sense to W and my sensor to W so now it knows about this sensor that's what you're doing is declaring it get rid of the actuator because we don't need that so now basically this means if you're pressing the W key we're gonna have to go into some more deep oh yeah parent duh never mind so we go to end, we do own dot parent dot apply force own dot world orientation dot column. So we have to pick a forward axis now. I usually pick Y. So right now we're just going to apply a raw force so that it doesn't have a cap for top speed. And we're going to not apply it locally because it's a world vector. Alright, so now we have to set this to rigid body. Sphere. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's going forward along this object's y-axis. Now, if I take the camera, and put it behind the ball, and attach it to the cube, it'll follow, oh, I have it on the wrong axis here. I'm going to set this to 3D cursor, and now we'll rotate around this pivot point. Okay, so now the ball and the camera, uh, the camera will follow the ball. Next, Now we can rotate the empty using logic. So 
So there we go. Steering system. All right, that's all for now. And then I'll work on the camera normal stuff for going up walls and uh, all that later.